Hi, I'm Cordell Davis, and I'm here with Kay Kenny, who's in our Winter 2020 photography moment of focus exhibition up at Alpha Art Gallery. Now, Kay, uh, can you tell us about your background? Well, my background is pretty much art, art, art. I started out at eight years old, getting a scholarship to 100 in Art Gallery. Uh, I'm a museum at the time, summer scholarship, and I've been involved in making art for the rest of my life. Um, went to lots of schools, three of them, including Rutgers. Syracuse as an undergraduate, Syracuse as a graduate student. So, uh, I've been working as a, initially as a illustrator, that's my probably beginning, and then I moved on to being a painter, and then I moved on to photography, and uh, stuck with photography, awesome. various aspects of it. Do you want to tell us what got you in? pursuing art seriously? Uh, well, I just, my third grade teacher told me that I should apply. Um, I was given a lot of encouragement. Um, when I went to Hunterton, I had a wonderful teacher, uh, Ann Marsh, at that time. And uh, it just, I just knew. I knew that's what I was going to do for the rest of my life. Can you tell can you tell us about your art making process and your photography process, the thinking and the execution involved? Uh, initially, as I said, I became, I was an illustrator. I was trying to be a commercial artist. I did not do very well with the commercial art people. It didn't fit me at all. So uh, I got into painting and when I got into photography, I had a kind of a strange experience. I was uh, at Syracuse and I was pursuing printmaking and painting mixed media when one of the photography uh, graduate student advisors, and I was a graduate student at that time, said to me, I want you to sign up for my photography class. He said, you know how to use a camera, right? And I said, yeah, of course. I've been using one since I was a kid. I said, good, because you're going to take my class and then you're going to teach it next semester. So it was uh, color photography and what they were looking for was a way of proving that the photography program in the art school would be different from the photography program in the journalism school. And they couldn't have found somebody who was more different. Because my approach to photography was, hey, let's see what's happened next. And, um, and that's exactly where I went. From that experience going to deeply into photography um, and then following it for the rest of my professional life. What do you think makes a good photograph? Well, one of the wonderful things about photography is making mistakes. The mystery of photography is that unexplained and wonderful thing that happens that you don't anticipate. It is often a profound mistake. And when you make those mistakes and you are successful, you have a really good photograph. So you take something like two thirds. The rule of thirds is, is that wonderful golden rule that you divide up a, a space into thirds and everything in each part of the space is um, a little bit different and you do not divide an image in half. Because if you divide it in half, it's boring. So if you stick something in the center of the page, it's boring. in the image that winds around and moves into different parts that pulls our eye around using color. So many different possibilities. And just being aware of them, that helps. <clears throat> uh, what is something that you hope the viewer takes away from your artwork? Well, one of the things I really want to spend people to spend time thinking about my work. Spending time looking at it, trying to figure it out. What's going on here? What is the subtext to the story? There's always a narrative. In my work, there's always a narrative. And looking for that subtext, looking for that possible um, shift in the way you view a particular scene, wait for this one. When people look at it, they go, what? What is that? Is that a fox? It, it, what's going on in that little house? What's that thing in the background? Where is this? Those kinds of questions, drawing people in, giving them uh, a narrative to question, bringing, they're bringing their own agenda to it. Everybody does. But I'd like to think that 
the agenda that I've set will draw them a little bit more effectively into something that I'm thinking about. And one of the things that I think about in this night work particularly, which was really critical to me, and this is part of being in a place like New Hampshire, is light pollution. Being able to see the stars, can you imagine? You're in New Brunswick, you can't see the stars. You get out there and it's a world, wow! And that, being aware of how light pollution affects our vision of the night and affects our vision of the world is so important. So I try to bring that into my real life photography. Awesome. Is there anything in particular that made you interested in the art gallery? Oh, uh, well, I got an email about it, and I was curious about it. I checked you out on the map, saw that you weren't going to be under any stargazing area, so, um, yeah, so I was curious. Anything and, else? And there's also, hey, I went to New Brunswick Rutgers for uh, graduate school. It's got some strong ties. My my dad was an alum, and he was very rah raw Rutgers, so there lots of family things going here. Awesome. Anything else you want to talk about? I'm um, not really sure, other than, um, hey, I'm on to the next body of work, and I don't know what I'm going to be doing next after this. And... You know where you go from here at all? Uh, you know what? I don't. And that's part of the mystery. Something's going to click. Literally. I'm a photographer. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. You gave you more for our work and the work of other artists. I'm saying, I'll talk to you.